So we're here at the rear suspension of the Justy, and I'm going to replace the factory rear sway bar mount bushing with my polyurethane bushing. You can see just how much play is in this factory bushing. Really easy, just a 12 millimeter bolt here will loosen this strap up and then the strap just hooks in right there so it's just one bolt and that comes right out. Alright, so 12 millimeter bolt here. And that just unhooks right out of there. There's a split in this bushing so it comes right off. There's the old one. Now it's a good idea to take a wire brush and clean up any dirt or grime or anything that might be in here. Anything that might be abrasive and maybe wear into the bushing over time. And then here as well. You want to clean up this area of the sway bar where it will actually be in the bushing. Alright, so here's the new polyurethane bushing. There are grooves inside the bushing so that you can pack grease in there and that grease will stay in there for a very long time. So make sure you get some silicone based grease in there really good. So I got some silicone based grease here. I'm going to go ahead and put some in there. And the hole's a little small to be able to use your finger, so just use something round. Make sure you're packing that grease into all of those grooves really good. And then any excess grease, put here where the strap goes, and then also on this side here where it will be against the mount there. Now there are a lot of the, um, sway bar mount bushing, just, just generic ones that you can buy, and I'm sure there may be some out there that would fit pretty well for the Justy, but I... I molded these exactly to this car, exactly to the size of the sway bar, exactly to the size of the strap. That way there's no guesswork, you don't have to match up like diameters of sway bar and this, like you just don't have to worry about it. If you have a Justy, this will work on the rear sway bar. Now I don't believe there was rear sway bars on the Justies until 1989, so the previous Justies, I, I don't believe any of them um, even have rear sway bars. So put a little bit of grease in here. Hook this little tab up in the hole where it goes there. There you go. You can wipe off the excess grease if you want. There's a lot less play with this bushing. Made sure it was a really snug fit, but yeah, that's that's how you do that, and then you do the same thing for the other side. So we just did the mount bushing up here. Now we're going to do this sway bar pivot bushing here. Again, you can see with the factory one, there's a ton of play. Not only this way, but like that as well. Again, these are designed exactly for this car and to fit in there and completely take up all the slack and make a nice firm connection there for the sway bar, which is a 12 millimeter nut and bolt. There's the bolt and then there is a little steel sleeve in here as well. This factory one is a one piece bushing, so it's a good idea to get some rust penetrant spray or something, something to lubricate this and spray it all around and get some pliers and work it around and that will get that lube in there so that you can get this bushing out a lot easier. You can see this factory one. Definitely old and brittle and cracked. Now same with all these bushings, I'm going to clean up inside this bore really well, clean up any dirt, sand, anything that's in here, and then we'll lube up the new bushings, get those in there. Oh cool, just broke. Okay, fast forward to the future, and I have steel sleeves now to replace the old one here, 
and also these are actually a slightly bigger size that these bushings are made specifically for. These new pins fit tighter with these bushings than the old pins would. So use your grease that should come with your bushings to lube everything up, the inside, this outside bore, and not a bad idea to even put some on this face where it will be against this mount here. Use something to pack those grooves really well with grease in there. And then grease inside here as well. And then lube the steel sleeve as well. And then just tighten your bolt up and it should snug up right against that that steel pin in the middle so once it's good you got a nice solid connection so now we're down here at the sway bar end link bushings just a 12 millimeter nut here at the bottom that needs to be taken off should have the nut and then one cup washer on the bottom and then one sway bar end link bushing on the bottom. Press up on this to get that out of there. And then you'll have one more bushing from the top. You'll have the steel sleeve that goes through the middle. And then you'll have a cup washer on the top as well. The only things we're going to reuse are the cup washers and the nut. So as with all of these bushings we're replacing, it's a good idea to take a wire brush or something and clean any dirt or anything that might be either in this bottom cup or this top cup, anything that could be abrasive, rust, sharp edges, things like that, that could possibly cut into or be abrasive to the new bushings when they're installed. Also in these washers can be a lot of crud, rust, and dirt, so good idea to clean those out as well. I might have to scrape some of this rust out, it's pretty rough. So I got the large rust scale scraped out of there and then wire brushed it a little more. The cleaner you get them, the better, obviously. This steel sleeve, you will not be reusing, and as you can tell, that's a good thing because this one is very rusty. It's mushroomed out just from being in here for so many years and becoming weak with the rust, those soft bushings. It's getting hammered back and forth so much, so don't need to reuse that. For each corner of the car, you have two bushings and one steel sleeve. It's the same bushings on the rear as it is up front. And obviously the same bushings from left to right as well. Same steel sleeve, so you don't have to worry about reusing any of that old stuff. If your washers are really bad, like maybe they're rusty or completely bent up, I tried to order some of these to have them available for people that might need them. And I ordered the last six in the United States, is what I was told. So I have six of them, but that's obviously not going to be very much of a supply if very many people end up wanting them or needing them. If you are in a real pinch, you could just use a normal flat washer. You just have to make sure it's one with a diameter that does not allow it to slide past that point. You wouldn't want it to be too small to where it kind of digs into the, the bushing. You'd want it to be, you know, bigger than the bushing so that it has a nice surface to uh, ride against. And then you might be able to find some cup washers that are the right size. I may also try to continue looking for other sources of these washers that would work for this that I can offer for people that um, need them or want them as well. But yeah, if you're in a pinch, you could probably just use a normal flat washer. Like I said, just make sure it slides over the bottom part here but does not go past that. And then obviously you'll need another one for the bottom as well. So this bushing also has a groove inside the bore here to hold grease, so we'll get our silicone grease and put that in there. So I'm now supplying silicone grease with uh, bushing orders, so you don't have to worry about trying to find some silicone grease. It'll come with your bushings. Polyurethane bushings are supposed to be re-lubricated periodically, depending on how much you use the car and what conditions you're using the car in, etc. And if it's a bushing like this, 
really not too much movement there. If it's like a control arm bushing with a lot of movement, that will likely have to be lubed more often than something like this on the sway bar. If you notice some squeaking from a bushing, that would likely mean that it needs to be lubricated again. Go ahead and throw a little grease in this cup washer as well. This will also help keep it from rusting further. Give it something to seal the water out. Silicone grease is very waterproof. And then we'll also put a little in this cup here. So then we'll lube up our steel sleeve. Go ahead and slide that in this first bushing here. Nice snug fit. Slide that up on there. Push up on this sway bar to get it started down in there. Slide that up on there. Get it started on the steel sleeve. Throw a little grease in the bottom cup washer. Throw that up on there. And just get the nut started and tighten it down. All of my other bushings up to this point, I make with 70A hardness polyurethane. It's just a little bit harder than the factory rubber, but it is way more durable. With these, I did go up to 80A shore hardness. They were just such a small bushing. They have a tendency to get squished or crack over time, and I wanted them to be a little harder. The OEM bushings are actually, they're normal rubber, but they are very hard rubber. Um, I, I did get a hold of some new ones just so I could look at them and see how they were made and what they're made out of, etc., and they were really hard rubber, so I did go up with hardness on these just to add some durability to them. I also made these bushings a little bigger around just so there's more rubber there. Should also give them more durability over time. These ones look like they're a similar shape, but actually when they're brand new, they are just straight tubes. There's no round roundness to them or anything. What I did is I just kind of put more rubber there, so there should be more bushing there to resist this deformation that the factory bushings have uh, been a victim of over time. These ones, you can't even tell what shape they used to be because they're so deformed. So it's almost the same process for the front. Here is the actual mount off of the front. Unfortunately, um, this car, while off-roading, had the front sway bar uh, snagged on a rock or something and ripped it completely off. So you can see this one's a little bent. Yeah, it's essentially the same thing. You've got the cup washer, except this one is welded on. And then you've got the steel sleeve and then another washer at the bottom. And then there's the washers in between that are solid to the car. So it's essentially the exact same process for the front. All right, so up to this point, we've replaced the sway bar mount bushing, the sway bar pivot bushing, and the sway bar end link bushing. So at this point, the rear sway bar is nice and firm. There's not all that slack in these bushings like there were before. So it should be a nice solid connection now.